We're going to start this Q&A right now, so you can get your questions in. If you're watching live, video.f4wonline.com. We do this every Sunday unless there's a pay-per-view. So uh, if you are signed up for the video service as a top-tier subscriber and can watch the shows live, you can watch this show Sundays, 9 Pacific, midnight Eastern, and ask your questions after we review Rampage. And uh, this was uh, not officially part of the Q&A, but as it regards Jericho and Claudio, uh, this person is wondering if they could do it at Battle of the Belts next month for the Ring of Honor title. Hmm. Well, yes, they could. Uh, Dave actually had a really good idea, which was when you get Ring of Honor television, would not be the worst idea to put the Ring of Honor title on Chris Jericho. Sure. So that, uh, you know, if you're on the fence about whether you want to watch Ring of Honor every week, well, Jesus, Chris Jericho is the champion of Ring of Honor. He's going to be having all these matches. So uh, you could do that. Uh, but Jericho did make the comment here, and so perhaps it is possible that they will do this match at Battle of the Belts. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe Jericho will win. My presumption is Claudio will win. Because Claudio was signed to be the Ring of Honor champion, which to me means he's not going to be champion for four months and then just drop it. I could be wrong. Uh, but, you know, the other thing you could do, if not Jericho, but Brian Danielson, Ring of Honor champion, when they move to television. This is the sort of thing, a Brian Danielson, a Chris Jericho, uh, John Moxley, whoever, somebody of that caliber should be the Ring of Honor champion when they eventually get whatever television streaming slot they're going to get. So, yep. uh, But I would not be surprised if they did that match at Battle of the Belts because he mentioned it when he did. They could, they could do the match at Battle of the Belts and just have Claudio win, but the, the, who, whoever, and, and no disrespect to Claudio, but he's lower on the totem pole than Jericho or Danielson, or Moxley for that matter. But uh, whoever the the... the Ring of Honor new top guy is going to be. He should win that belt on the first Ring of Honor show. All right. Terry here says, Craig and Vinny, did you love Drew's Broken Dreams theme during Clash of the Castle? Yes. Someday he should use it when a villain again. I, I, I did not watch. Uh, uh, I, the only things I watched, I watched Gunther and Seamus, and I watched the finish of the show to see if it was really as bad as everyone said. And if it wasn't good, but I've seen worse. But in fast-forwarding through the show to get to the finish, I stopped to watch Drew's entrance. And yes, I love the Broken Dream song. I thought that whole presentation for Drew was awesome. And then he didn't win, but what are you going to do? I, I didn't think he was going to win anyway. So I was on vacation last week, and I didn't watch a lick of wrestling. But I will go and find that. You know, I am not a uh, guy that's really all that into nostalgia. So uh, it was fine. It was cool, but I don't... Uh... Well, it's cool, but it, it, first of all, I, like, I just like the song. The song's great anyway. But they had a great video going all the way back to when he was the chosen one. Looking about, Well, yeah, that stuff was all awesome. Look, looking like a, a, a giant 15-year-old when he debuted on SmackDown. And how he never fulfilled that promise and went away for a while. And now he's finally come back to... It's like the return of the king. He's come, he looks like Aragorn. He's come back to, to, to claim his destiny. And again, it didn't happen. And he sang a song instead. You know, the other right. thing about it is, well, you know, I, I don't think that Drew's current song is bad at all. I kind of like his current song. So if he had a shitty song yeah. and then they went back to his old song, that'd be one thing. But I, I kind of like Drew's current theme. It's, it's kind of cool. like, you know, it's one of these days, I'm sure Roman Reigns is going to come out to that stupid Shield theme again and everyone's going to mark out. But that fucking song sucked. Yeah. And I really like Roman's new theme. I think that his theme and his whole presentation, he does come off as a big-time major superstar with that song. So mm -hmm. I would not be sitting here going, oh, man, the old song that Mark hated is back. Oh, I love that stupid song. <laughs> Shitty. I like Mark's version of it, actually. Yeah, we should get Mark back to do that song again. Maybe have Mark do his new one. Can Mark sing? He's done the theme. There you go. I don't yeah, think he, he didn't can sing. He didn't sing, but yeah. I still want to hear it. <laughs> all right, let's see. God, there's a lot of questions all of a sudden. Craig and Vinny, all these questions for you, Vinny. I think they're from Curryhead here. What's the mm -hmm. most frustrating thing about your shoot job? Coworkers. Well, this is Vinny's shoot job. I mean, I have a few well, shoot. I have a few shoot jobs, and you know what's a really dumb thing to do? Is air your grievances with your job publicly. Oh yeah. And, and while I may resemble Phil, I, I these do days, that all the time. <laughs> I'm much smarter than him, and I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So uh, no comment is my answer to this question. 
I like I like running the show, then I can talk about how shitty my job is sometimes. Yeah, I just those those coworkers that ask really stupid questions that would really only take them a matter of minutes to figure out on their own. They drive me nuts. You wanna name anybody? If no. I guess, will you tell me? Okay, go ahead. Is it Bill? No, he's fine. Ah. Is it Dwayne? Oh, get out of here, Vinny. I don't work with Dwayne. All oh. right. Uh, this person here, Dagan, optimistically, AW will ultimately come out stronger on the other end of all the drama. Uh, do you think that is the most likely outcome? And what does Tony need to do to get the company there? Well, yeah, of course they'll come out stronger. I mean, that's what happens when things like this happen. Now, I'm not going to say how they're going to get there, because then people will accuse me of choosing one side or the other. But uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, they're going to do an investigation that will be wrapped up. There will likely be consequences, and then we'll move on. Um, sometimes when you're a parent, you got to quit being the kid's friend, and you got to start being a parent yeah. and lay down the law. It's time for Tony to start being a parent. Yeah, pull your damn pants up, kid. That's a start. Tighten those suspenders. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a pee. Pee gets leg hold. <laughs> 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 this was 10 8 21. Clothesline. Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? I don't know. How What's happening? You? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.